Brian. Hi, Brian. How are you? Oh, hello, long time no see. <laughs> it's been a really long time. I saw this pop yeah. up, so I thought I'd jump on if it thought it'd be nice to see you. Nice um, see I you have too. got a question for you. Um, so really, I'm sure you get asked this all the time, but as a teacher, we are back, you know, in classes a lot more. And um, although I'm still also have my classes online, which are great. And uh, my question is about adjusting hands on adjustments. And what are your thoughts on this? Because obviously you taught me to adjust 10 mm. years ago. <laughs> and now it feels quite different and the, it feels different like approaching that and I've got lots of yoga teachers asking me um, obviously because I'm a senior teacher so um, some of my mentees asking me about adjusting and how hands-on they should be so I'd love to get your opinion Brian on this. <laughs> well um, this could be a bit of a kind of worms. Um, <laughs> I thought know, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know I'm old-fashioned I came through the old, if you like, the old fashioned school of yoga. Um, and I, I know that there's been a trend towards um, less adjusting or no adjusting, or what I call uh, creepy crawly adjusting, where people sort of touch the student, but not really. It's like they're scared to put their hands on them. And I have got feedback from, I was teaching last weekend in, in uh, Glastonbury actually, and. I, I, I got feedback there. And one thing that students hate is when people do Nambi Pambi adjustments. They're neither not an adjustment or a real adjustment. They're somewhere between. It is incredibly irritating uh, to receive that. So my answer partly there is if you're going to adjust, that's a big if, but if you're going to adjust, adjust properly. You have to get close and you have to do an adjustment that the student feels so they get feedback, they understand what's going on. That's the first thing. The, the other thing is, of course, there's been all this talk about abuse and all that stuff. And I, I, I don't know how relevant that is to, to, well, I can't talk about it because I've never been abused and I don't personally um, know anybody personally who's been abused. I'm sure there's lots of people who have been but if you're a teacher um it really is up to you to build trust and if you're if you're going to you know do uh, use adjusting for some other purpose you shouldn't be teaching obviously so i let's just leave that aside right now because if you've got any integrity you know that you adjust for a good reason there's nothing else involved you can give Students, the choice, obviously, this is the way it's going. You can tell them, uh, they, they can tell you, uh, I don't want adjusted in my this class, or I do want adjusted. And that seems to be the way it's going. I think it's a bit of a pity because there's a good chance that somebody says, I don't want to be adjusted. Um, and in fact, they may well have really appreciated being adjusted and they miss that out because they've got fears. Uh, maybe a very unfounded fears so it's complicated thank you brian always so much wisdom and uh yeah really interesting because i yeah i'm still teaching my shanga classes i really pulled back from adjusting um but i'm finding myself i'm bringing it back in um but probably in a in a new newer way but um thank you for obviously your uh, advice there and your feedback that of course yeah mamby pamby adjustments don't go well i always remember that and yeah to be perhaps a bit more um direct and to bring that back in the, some of the tradition yeah um the other thing obviously we all know is you don't necessarily have to physically adjust because obviously you can verbally adjust um and i i have to admit that my in my own sort of way of doing things I have moved quite a lot to verbal adjustments, um, not because I don't want to do physical adjustment, but because often if you look at a student and you think mm, they could they, they could improve their posture, um, the physical adjustment doesn't necessarily always work. Sometimes you have to take the student out of the posture and put them back in with the correct foundation or alignment. And you see a huge improvement without having to do anything at all. So you have to be careful that you're not 
trying to adjust somebody who simply needs to start again from you know the blank sheet of paper and start setting up the posture correctly and then they go much further and, and it's much more satisfying thank you brian thanks, thanks for that. lovely to see you is it nice weather down there by the way it's not that nice it's a bit gray yeah. actually so <laughs> Nice to see you. I hope we can catch up. Okay. Bye. Bye.